So we're going to start now. Good evening, guys. Welcome back to the Malaysian Architectural Online Education Series. So we are proudly uh, presented by Masa and hope, hope you guys are doing well. And so for those who are new, Masa is Malaysia Architecture Student Alliance. And it's a non-profit student committee acting un directly under PAM, which is the Putubuan Architect Malaysia, consisting of student representatives from all architecture institute in Malaysia. So during th this time of MCO, Masa and PAM have decided to launch this on a lecture series for students to be more productive and gain more uh, insights. So architect Ardianta is a head of PAM education and Zach, uh, Dr. Zach Zarul is the convener. My name is uh, Guma Sylvester Makajil, a master representative from BCSI University, and I will be uh, your MC for today. So I would like to welcome our guest speaker for tonight, architect Muhammad Asli Muhammad uh, Jamil. He's the founder of Asli Jamil Architect and also a lecturer at Faculty Design and Architecture at University Putra Malaysia, Serdang. He received his Bachelor of Science of Architecture in 2002 and Masters in Urban Development and Management in 2020, both from uh, Mara University of Technology. He has worked as an architect at Private Architecture Practice, Public Works Department, JKR, and as a architect at engineering department under Ministry of Health Malaysia. Until 2016, before becoming a lecturer at UPM and a practitioner at uh, Asli Jamil Architect. A lot of um, public project has been undertaken by him, such as design and uh, managing projects from Jabatan Audit Negara, Surahanjaya, uh, Pengecah Rasua Malaysia, Institute Latihan Malaysia, Mahkamah Sharia, uh, Kuala Lumpur and hospitals and clinics around Malaysia. So his experience throughout the industry practices has given him an advantage for teaching and sharing his knowledge and experience with the students and the public. He has also shared um, his ex expertise as a trainer at CIBD Holdings under Architectural Site Supervisor Module at JKR Training Center, Create at Malacca, Con uh, tractual management and various universities as panel for critique for architecture program uh, for the past 10 years. Um, okay, so enjoy um, the sharing everyone. We will have a Q&A session at the end of the talk, but if you have any questions, feel free uh, to type them down in the chat box so we can attend to them at the end of the sharing. Okay, uh, so architect Asli, how are you? Yes, fine. Thank you, Guma. Okay, good to Good to have you here. So I'll pass yeah. the floor to you. All right. Thank you. Thank you, our MC Guma. All right. And yeah, welcome to all the participants. So yeah, as, as promised today, uh, I'm going to be sure roughly uh, the architecture career now and future in Malaysia. Okay, let's go through. Okay. So I know you guys like to have this type of design, future design. Is it going to be next 2030? We don't know, all right? So you are the one who make Malaysia in future. All right, so from this photo, okay, you can see police, fire brigade, the army, okay, the LCC. All right, this is actually all career that we can do after our graduation. So we have Sami Belu here, we have an actor. Of course, we have the late Zaha Hadid. Okay, the famous photo here, okay, and can become a pilot. All right, so these are some questions. Can architectural graduates do part-time doing 3D and clean? Right. Can they do part-time drawing submission as a runner to local authority and claim? Can the architectural graduate sell bungalow design? Okay, of course, right. you, our parents will ask, can, can design uh, bungalow for us, you know? Next, can they promote their architecture business online? FB, IG, Shopee, ATC. All right. Can architect become Prime Minister of Malaysia? All right. Can can it become Ketua Pengarah JKR Malaysia, number one in Malaysia? Can it become artist, singer, comedian? Can they become a, a star architect like Zaha Hadid? Okay. All right. So what is the future of architecture as profession? Is there going to be a building project in future? Is it enough already building in Malaysia? Have you have we talked about that? 
So many architects uh, in Malaysia. So what I'm going to design? Is, no, is there any project anymore? Do clients need architect to design? Or can just Google or online or can buy from Shopee? <laughs> all right. So I will answer all these questions throughout this slide. All right. So I go for introduction. So that is me. So uh, yes, uh, thank you MC for introduction. So I'm also uh, founder of Architect Azri Jamil. And architect at private firm for four years in JKR Malaysia for 10 years. Okay, uh, and then I joined uh, as a lecturer full time and I also have my own firm. Okay, so these are uh, some introduction. Yeah, so architecture graduates various from certificate, diploma, degree until uh, PhD. So maybe the student don't know what is the career after graduate. So the first point is to see I'm going to be an architect, design my own house. That is the major dream of architecture graduates, right? <laughs> to design our own house. Still no money, but can design. <laughs> right. Same as me before. Right. So, but that is not the only choice. Yeah. I will share the career that architect can join after graduation. Right. So, objective of this topic, uh, to list the education level related to architecture studies, part one, part two, part three, to table career opportunities for architecture graduates, and lastly, what is the future of architecture career in Malaysia? So this is our objective. I will touch on these main two things. All right. So these are some of my reference. Okay. Uh, I need to put it all. all right. All right. So this talk will roughly be uh, divided into four main sections. Right. Uh, in education level, what is a career now, future, and suggestion. So education roughly we have diploma until part one, part two, part three, and then now I'm going to elaborate more on private practice, government and others. Future, about skill and knowledge. Okay. So roughly this is another table to make it more, more graphical. So of course you may zoom in on the right hand side about the salary. Okay. So diploma 1.1k minimum okay, until 30k. All right. So these are roughly what uh, I'm going to tell you about. Of course, of course we will focus on uh, salary afterwards. Okay, now we go on education first. Okay, so an overview of architectural profession. So maybe some of the uh, secondary school students are here. So what is architecture? Let we revise back what we learn during our study. So what is architecture? Architecture is Greek architecton means master builder. Architect as well known as the master builder before. We did all from buildings from to furniture to details. Okay. Architecture is a gesture. Okay. So architecture is actually an art bridging the humanities and the science between two things, arts and science. Okay. That's why if some students really do love arts, okay, but some students are really, really good in science. Okay. Like for example, uh, uh, during SPPM or SPM, they really score on science, but not well versed on arts. So this is where we go. You go to the school of architecture to balance up between arts and science. If two arts, then you become an artist, painter, sculptor. If you two science, you become engineer, inventor, researcher. Architect is combination of these two with humanity in mind. Okay. So what is architecture? Um, is to understand the literature. Excel in drawing and painting, master in geometry, well versed in history, okay. uh, seek advice from philosopher, this one for design ideas, appreciate music. Okay. Uh, this is based on Vitruvius, then move for architecture. What else? Okay. Based on Vitruvius also, it's about durability, to stand up robust and remain in good condition. So building in Malaysia based on UBBL need to be remain at least for minimum for 30 years. All right, so this is the task of an architect. And next is utility, to be useful, function well as people using it. All right, and beauty of course, okay. We all love beautiful, okay. All right, so what is architecture style? So I just revised back. So we have ancient Greece, Roman Empire, Middle Age, Renaissance. So this is about history. Are we going to implement this all in Malaysia? Yeah, maybe some of it. We still have Roman column in Malaysia. <laughs> I still don't know why. 
Okay, abnormal color is measured in most of the bungalows of the VIP. Maybe to show the, 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 the high impact. Okay. So next we have vernacular Greek architecture. Until today, we have the late 20 style of architecture. All right. So, so many of them. So these are the master of architect as we learn through our school. Of course, the Frank Lock Wright. Eh? So uh, as well known as organic architecture and his well known works is falling water. All right. So this is the best work of him, okay, Roby House, okay, this combination of uh, geometry, right? So who else? So we have natural architecture, Louis Hahn, right? So a philosophical architect. So of the buildings, so I just glance through. Alva Alto, so you see architect also designed the furniture besides buildings, right? We have Lico Bouget, right? The famous Notre Dame Hot, okay? Uh, so they like to have this type of design for the roof design okay and we have the famous villa savoy right next we have uh miss vendero less is more so he's the one who created these words less is more right so we have first word house barcelona pavilion okay nice sort of him so what is architecture profession actually is an op occupation a practice a vocation requires a massive complex set of knowledge and skill. So this is what we teach during the school is knowledge and skill through formal education. Okay, it must be formal education and practical experience. So I believe you all have practical experience and uh, the lab also required a practical experience. Okay. Every organized profession, accounting, example, the accountant, the law, doctors, is governed by a specific, respective professional body. So that makes us professional. All right. So what is professionalism? It must self-improvement and self-awareness with knowledge. Okay, as this picture, those time architect uh, draw manually on boards. But today, still same posture. Architect go through the monitor using IT. Maybe in the future just virtual. Okay. So what is professionalism? It's about communication, collaboration, all right? And altruism, principle of moral practice. Uh, so I will share you what is the responsible of architect afterward. Okay. Architect also need to respect for others. We cannot uh, condemn other profession. Example, as a professional architect, I cannot condemn other architect. I condemn his design. Oh, your design looks like my head. Your design looks like car. Your design looks like bicycle. So architect cannot condemn others unless during uh, unless for education purposes, right? All right. Was so what is architecture professionalism? It's about honesty, integrity, reliability, responsibility, respect for others, compassion, empathy, self improvement, self awareness, communication, altruism, and advocacy. All right. Characteristic characteristic of profession. Okay. Uh, publish a journal, maintain registration of members, so CPD, okay, public outreach, helping people like doing this MCO, guideline for professional practice is what under PAM, under sorry, under LAM. So other professional body in Malaysia, we have bar council, we have uh, board of engineer, we have MMC, medical, we have lembaga. So all these are professional. All right. So this one we go aboard. We have uh, AIA for. Australian, we have Singapore, we have RIBA. So maybe one of you may ask, what is RIBA do in our university? All right. So I will answer that afterward. Okay. So privilege of profession. So what can you be? What can we do if we become an architect? We entitled to claim for service. All right. We entitled okay to be respect by the public. Okay. We have an exclusivity using the AR. We have high reputation. All right, so Rafi Ago, the function of board architect measure. So I want of it to uh, register for all the architects, register architect and register designer and interior designer to regulate and conduct ethics, conduct exam part one, part two, part three. So they're the one who uh, go through the uh, part one, part two, part three. Accredit uh, university program, development and development and promotion of the profession. Okay, and the others. Alright, so roughly architecture education in Malaysia, we have part one, part two, part three. 
so this one uh, now this they call it bachelor science in architecture roughly it's in half years master of architecture two years professional architect uh, minimum two years experience for for you to sit for party passing rate okay we can change this passing rate actually nowadays become 15 to 20 percent okay you just need to study and with experience all right so these are some entry requirements uh, to go for part one part two okay uh, so part one is minimum diploma a level okay stpm or matriculation right so i believe this all based on university level requirement okay so i hope you all uh, maintain and continue until part two right. so these are some list of university in Malaysia that uh, offer part one and part two program means what means one means uh, example MH in UTM after you graduate automatically been accredited part two no need to sit for another exam all right so uh, the yellow yellow color I put is part two so we have UTM UITM okay uh, UITM four years for part one uh, the rest three years uh, you have USM also part two. We have part two. Uh, UM also have part one, part two. URA part one, part two. Uh, UPM part one, part two. So I teach in UPM. I also teach part one and part two and part three also. Uh, Taylor's University, private university. Uh, UCSI part one, part two. Uh, UKM part one, part two. They got it uh, recently, right? So the rest uh, we have IUKL, okay. Uh, Utah also part one, part two. Okay, Lincoln Wing part one, part one. Okay, the rest also part one. So you may choose any university that you want to go. All right. So hopefully that university got accredited part one and part two. Okay. All right. Overseas. So if you intend to go to overseas, and these are a list of uh, university, you can check this in land website. So in Australia, we have four universities. Uh, part one, part two, right? Uh, and United Kingdom, UK only, uh, Australia and UK. The rest they yet to apply to from LEM. So if they apply, example, uh, UC in German, they like to apply for to get part one, part two. They have to apply to LEM and LEM Lembaga Architect go there and accredit. So in United Kingdom, we have uh, Robert Gordon. Okay, uh, all these part one, part two. Uh, I just glance through. So you may choose okay uh, until uh, we have 20 24 numbers of university uh, abroad for you to study to choose uh, study part one and part two all right all right so this one uh road to part three all right so after getting your part two uh, you need to register with the uh, lembaga architect mention as graduate architect and to have a practical experience minimum 104 weeks roughly two years all right, uh, register for exam, okay, and uh, submit logbook and evaluation report up to 2000 words. So, based on the two years' uh, practical experience, okay, after submit, then go, go through the oral exam. After passing the oral exam, then uh, can only go for written exam. All right, and after you pass part three, okay, uh, you might you need to register as architect first okay before uh, before register as acp architectural consultancy practice okay so another two step uh, to do business okay all right so parties involved in construction industry so we have client of course our paymaster so client will call us first we are under the consultant so we have a contractors the builders okay we have the local authority Example, DBKL, Majlis Pembangunan Kajang, uh, TNB, JKR, and all the local authorities that will approve and see through our submission drawing. And other stakeholders, right? Like housing. All right. So what makes you a professional? So this way, if you go for AR, we have a special skill and knowledge to create, to design, to plan, to manage, and supervise. This one you learn through part one and part two. Okay, governed by code of conduct. So this one you need to study. Okay, we have roughly 11 acts to study for part three. 
competence, integrity, honesty, and attitudes. Okay. Self-regulatory. The examples of self-regulatory is under CCC. So the CCC uh, architect needs to verify himself that building is completed based on approved building plan. All right. Accountability okay, uh, is uh, relied to be diligent and dedicated. Okay. Uh, responsibility. We have professional responsibility. We have legal, contract, moral responsibility, and duty of care. All right. So, uh, what is the right roles, responsibility, and liability of architect? Okay. Is it the same? Is it different? Yes. Never mind. So, what is the right of architect? What? Oh, okay. Sorry. So, what is the right of architect? The slide. Okay. Is under section seven. Okay. To practice, run business, take up employment for ACP, can call himself an architect, right? Can display a signboard, okay? Signboard, like project signboard, okay? The card, name card, calling card, or other device as an architect. You can use the abbreviation AR in front, or an architect. Can charge fee, okay? When do design, can charge fee, remuneration for service rendered. This one is only allowed for registered architect. Graduate, graduate architect is not allowed to claim fees. If we do part-time 3D, uh, part-time submission, we cannot uh, claim for fees unless you are work under an office of architecture firm or ACP. Right? And can perform work under architect's attainment under section eight. So this is under act 117. So what are the architect roles? Okay. Uh, architect roles to interpret and implement design intention. This one based on the client brief. To ensure final completion of the project. Okay. To ensure client interest protected. Uh, submission of plan. Advice need of engagement of other consultants because we cannot, we alone, architect cannot do a building. We need an engineer to draw, to design the structure, to design the mechanical and electrical system. And we have to administer the building contract. Okay. So what are the responsibility? Okay. We have professional responsibility. This one based on X as a client certifier, as an agent, as an advisor. Uh, contractual, okay, quasi arbitrator. This one under contract for building contract during construction. Certifier, keep time and budget. Legal, building compliance to law. Example, we have to design our building based on Uniform Building by Law 1984 under under uh, Street Danish Building Act 133. So example of this act, example the the riser of our staircase, the maximum riser uh, is 180. If we design 200 mm and somebody fall, so we are wrong under the law. Okay, moral to protect interests of the public and duty of care. Okay. This is a form of responsibility. So what is the architect liability? Okay, if the design default. Example, the railing is too low, minimum is 900, but we design 600 mm and somebody fall because of that handrail. So it's our fault. Cost overrun is our fault. This is our liability. Poor project and contract management. Okay? We didn't go to the site to manage the project. Wrong advice, example, wrong detail okay? that makes the, the current overflow. And certification mistake and premature. Okay? Somebody signed for us. False certification, let issue of information. All right. So that is professional. So these are other skills needed in architectural practice. Uh, I believe this one doesn't taught in school. So architect have also have to take minutes of meeting, uh, photocopy document, okay, uh, concession costs and architect fees in five minutes. So normally the client asks uh, architect, how much is my my project? Uh, so they ask us within five minutes. We have to give the answer. So have to use the Excel for floor area in square feet. Right. Formal letter writing, communication skill to win a job. So how to win a job? Is it reduce fee? No, it's not allowed. Okay. So it's how we sell our ideas. Okay. To handle local authority, submission. To handle team of consultants, we have engineers under us, we have QS. So how to make them as a teamwork, right? To make the project success. To handle technical issue during construction. Okay. This one also have to settle the drawing, okay? The technical issue the concession. Sometimes the contractor just call an architect. Hey, architect, what is it? How how is this detail? 
we need to go to the site and sketch there and then. So that's why in school we teach the, the student how to sketch, sketch and sketch because this sketch skill is needed during construction and to monitor and do construction. So now we go for architecture career. Right? So how to apply? What to comply? Where to apply? When to apply? Who can apply? So you know how to apply during uh, after graduation? All right. So how to apply? So before you apply, you decide the type of job first. Is it for part one? Is it for part two? Is it for resident architect? Is it for design architect? So do your research. So do, do a bit of research. All right. So write a resume. So this is most important part if you want to look for a job. Write a resume. Okay, I will show you afterwards a sample of resume. Contact the employer. Okay, call them or do research. What is the process to get through the application? Is there three three type, three level of process, one level? Okay. So please have a cover letter. Okay, to be appropriate. Uh, get second opinion. Uh, maybe you ask your friend, how is that office? What is that project? Uh, my intention to to learn more about site management. Does that office allow me to to experience site management? Okay, and look at reference. Okay, example of of course, as a student, your reference is only your lecture. So never mind. You may use your lecture name as your reference, or during your intern, you have your ex firm there, and then you apply. This one how to apply. So what to comply? Right. So what to comply? This is what uh, the data you need to put in your your resume, uh, your contact information, of course, your email, your phone number, uh, ID no need, Facebook no need, okay, uh, employment history, salary expectation. Mm, don't put too high, based on uh, your experience. So example, graduate uh, first year after graduate uh, part two so now the range is roughly three thousand uh three thousand to to four thousand so maybe after graduate you just put three thousand just to get the job first so after first year then you may increase your expected salary maybe up two or three hundred right uh position applied okay so based on the advertisement education background okay and references right so these are all actually uh, in sequence. You have to put this one on top and the rest below. So where to apply? So where to apply? This one based on your networking, your friend, your lecturer, your family background, okay? your referrals. Okay? Uh, you may go to career website like um, uh, Job Street, okay? or you may go to Job Fair, okay? uh, go through to company websites. If a uh, big company they have big website, they have website. You might go to the websites, right? Uh, headhunters or recruiters, okay? Or you may apply the internship that you been before, okay? Internship firm. Uh, you need to be creative and promote yourself. So be yourself, right? Be special. So when to apply? Of course, after graduates. Do you need to have? Do you need to go through the uh, ceremony of graduation or not? No need. Once you complete your study, you have your exam slip, you might go for looking for a job. Right? And then next, uh, when you decide to move to the next firm or to the next office, it's three or four months ahead. Right? Uh, when to apply? Of course, during weekdays, not during weekend. Okay? And normally, first quarter of the year. Because normally, the firm uh, like to expand their office uh, during the early of the year. Right? So who can apply? So this one, please refer to job requirements. Okay, uh, locality, example locality. If you live in Johor Bahru, and you like to work in Johor Bahru, so that is most preferable. But if you live in Johor Bahru, but the office you apply is in Kuala Lumpur, uh, so you may need to change the address or you need to shift because normally the firm will will look what is your locality. Uh, then uh, the age requirement. There also some age requirement, right? Like government, they have age requirement and qualification. All right. So these are tips for applying for jobs. Okay. Tailor your uh, resume to the job. Okay. Don't make it 
too general. Please, please tell it your uh, resume. If to ask uh, to look job for at firm A, tell your resume to firm A only, not too general. Please edit. All right. Check your resume and cover later. Okay. To date, okay. research the company. All right. Do some research of the company. You may ask your friend. Okay. Uh, read the job posting carefully. Okay. When is the last date? To send for uh, job application, okay, continue networking and continue applying. All right. So these are some resume mistake. Okay, resume. What is the resume? Resume roughly one page in one to two page only. Different with CV. I will share that afterward. So work employment date. Please put the date for employment. Example now is May. So you are free maybe next two months. So put the employment date from. Uh, June to July, so the firm know you are free from June to July to enter the firm. Okay, inconsistency data. So make sure all data is consistency. Okay, consistent. Right. Uh, failing to delete irrelevant data. So please double check. The bolding the wrong information. You bold your FB rather than your phone number or your email. Okay. Claims without evidence. You say you know how to do Revit, but actually you don't know how to do Revit. You're just a beginner. You learn through YouTube. Okay, you must be honest to yourself, right? Uh, into including uh, obvious skills. So not to put Excel and Word anymore. That is too common. Okay, put something else that extra, right? Uh, too much fluff. Job description. Okay, uh, keep it short and simple. Okay, resume design too cute. Too colorful, okay. Too many things inside, okay. Make it clean and neat, all right. A listing education on top. Please don't put your education on top of the list. That one should be below, all right. Weak verbs, okay. Weak verbs. So you may use a lot of uh, tools now. We have uh, Google Translate. What else, okay? Or you have find your friend to check your verbs. Two media data and two pages. Two pages. Okay. Don't put so many things. Make it short. Okay. Copy and paste job description. Okay, example the job description as to uh, master in AutoCAD, master and you just copy and paste. Please don't do that. Don't include hobbies. My hobbies is fishing. My hobbies is traveling. Okay. Uh, put objective. What is your objective to join the firm? Example to join the firm, I want to learn more about architectural management and to enhance the office management. Right. Tiny font, too many data you want to put in one page and tiny font. Right. Outdated format, right. ignore application instruction, please follow the instruction. Okay. Bad file name, example resume latest test 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 number nine. All right. Please edit that file. Okay. Alright, so these are example between uh, resume and CV. Resume roughly one to two pages only. It's just a summary of everything. Alright, important part is your education, work history, okay, accomplishment, skills, right, uh, and statement. Your career summary statement. Uh, strive to next uh, millennium example. CV. CV is uh, two to three pages. Is long lasting to show your project experience, your list of project, list of uh, details, what you do. Okay. Okay, resume are common document, the most common uh, document requested in job application. So these are example of resume. Okay. One page, simple one page. All right. So what info here? Just whatever need to be put, okay, experience, okay. Education, software, your skill, expertise, language, certification. Okay, now the right hand side is my resume during my time in 2000, 2002. All right, so I make it short and simple. Put some simple color and graphics. All right. Uh, all right. Now we go for architecture career. So after graduate, what is the career that you can buy? Okay. So roughly we have private practice, we have government, and we have others. All right. Okay. Uh, ada suara tu. Yang lain tolong tolong mute. Yep. Nanti uh, ganggu sikit. All right. Um, we have private practice, architecture, consultancy practice, ACP. All right. 
we have developers, we have supplier and contractor. All right. Okay. Um, okay. okay. Uh, if diploma and certificate, so if in ACP, uh, you might become a building drummer, a developer building drummer, contractor supply, uh, work. So I will go to ACP first. If part one, you will be called uh, assistant architect, you will be a designer. That is what being taught in part one to become a designer and to help to assist the architect. All right. Uh, in the firm also, if part two, all right, you become a graduate architect. Uh, graduate architect means register with Lemaga Architect Mansion. Right? Or you may become a project architect after some experience. You manage the project, okay? no more design. Or become a resident architect, so full time on site. All right. So next is developer. Some developer, like example, uh, Sanjabi, they have uh, they have a lot of housing project. So they may employ uh, architecture graduate to help them to manage uh, the project. Uh, maybe it's for some simple simple design, okay. Uh, and to uh, to manage the whole project, okay, or be, may become inspector of work, all right, a designer for that developer, and some developer they combine with architect firm, uh, become a, a body corporate, right, uh, and some of architect also have, is also is a developer also, okay, and uh, if master part two become project architect or project manager, all right. Some of them become uh, uh, work under contractor or supplier. Some become uh, designer of facade building because uh, architect can design facade. So become facade specialist, right? Or become site supervisor and designer or project architect. Right. So yeah, a lot of uh, architect uh, graduate works in this uh, architect ACP and developer, right? All right, so uh, this is just a reminder under the Act 520 CIDB Act. Okay, if you want to become a contractor or you want to, example, small contractor, you want to renovate somebody's house, uh, everybody is uh, falls under this Act. Right, so this any works, all right? Okay, so you may become a general construction worker, semi skills, skill workers, construction site supervisor, okay, construction project managers. This is all under. Uh, CRDB Act or under the contractor, all right? Okay, we have civil structure site supervisor, building and architecture site supervisor, so you may become uh, this part also. All right, so these are okay. This one I want to rem uh, remind you, okay? Every contractor, whatever register under this act or not, if the contractor, example, small contractor renovate a uh, somebody house, okay, he also born under this act. If found guilty. Okay. Not register, but doing the work, doing the construction. Okay, mm -hmm. maybe fine, not exceeding five thousand ringgit. All right. So this one, another. I want to focus. If you have professional qualification, no need to have the green card. Okay, if you want to enter the site, you need to have green card to enter the site. Okay. All right. So now I go for government. We have open post and closed post. Okay, open post. Uh, like uniform, body, police, maritime, uh, we have PTD, okay. okay. We have closed post, JKR, okay. JPS, KKM, local authority, okay, building government. Okay, so I will go through detail. All right, so uh, if you like to work under government, so these are the website, okay, spa.gov.my, SPA stands for Suruhanjaya Perkhidmatan Awam, uh, it's like a human resource for government. So just uh, key in your application there and apply so, and wait uh, for them to reply. So uh, I share my experience because I joined government before. All right. So for diploma, so you see this number JA19, JA29, 39, 41. These are actually the grade to show the level. All right. So for diploma, diploma or cert, uh, you might go from J. Uh, J is Jurutera. Uh, Okay, 19 to 29. Okay, if have part one, 29 to 39. Right, if uh, master or part two graduate architect, uh, 41 until JUSA. JUSA is the highest post, Jawatan Utama Sektor Awam. <laughs> so, roughly, the salary about 15 to 20k. JUSA, 
Okay, so everyone can become a jusa, uh, but you have to wait, right? Uh, or become a lecturer like me uh, from uh, DS. So this is DS. So example J is a jurutera. Okay, uh, D is for a lecturer DS. Okay, uh, like uh, kalau if teacher they, they call it D only DG DG. All right. So these are the code. Okay. A professional AR can become an architect, okay, senior lecturer in a university, all right, or senior professor, okay, you have PhD, okay. Roughly this is great. So the, the salary based on this grade, everywhere around Malaysia in government sector. So you may join JKR, JPS, KPKT, all right, DBKL, this one, this example, or local authority. You have local authority like uh, Majlis Pembadaran Kajang, Majlis Pemajaran Selayang, Majlis Pemajaran Ipoh, alright. So you might apply for that post, alright. And okay, this is an example of the open post, okay, uh, open post like uniform PTD. So these are the grade 19 to 29, alright. Uh, Jusa. So close post mean uh, special for architect graduate only, okay. Close post, special only for today. Open post, any degree, any master under the sky can join this open post. Okay. All right. So, what is the task? Okay. Roughly for diploma, so okay, building drama, detailed drawing, submission drawing. Okay. Uh, part one, production team leader. Okay. Senior designer, drawing checker, designer. Okay. Master part two, designer, presenter, minutes of meeting, leader of drafting, design of project team, specifier, details, care, actually, consultant, chairperson, contact, administration, SO representative, miss or skill of minimum basic or services. <laughs> so, so many. Because you uh, earn more, so you have to do more. All right. If professional AR, so roughly covers everything. All right. Uh, okay. Example, lecture. What is lecture task? It's not only teaching, eh, guys. Okay. I'm a lecturer. I thought it's only teaching. No, it's not only teaching. Teaching, supervision of student uh, for research, right? For dissertation, uh, research. And then we have to do industrial, industrial attachment. Like example, I have that chair. I have designed the chair. I have to uh, deal with industry, how to make it uh, commercial. Right? We also, uh, uh, lecturers also have to have a community engagement. Like we have to build our Asli house, right? Uh, professional services. Okay. A lecture is not only teaching. That's only 30% of it, 30 to 40% of it. All right. So this one roughly uh, diploma architecture for government entry uh, and their grade and their salary. Right. And they have fixed yearly um, increment. So like J19, uh, fixed 100 every year. Confirmed. Okay, but have to follow the uh, KPI. All right. Okay, uh, diploma architecture. So another in table. So what are the requirement? Okay, uh, not more than this one after SPM. So this one lower grade, this one higher grade. All right. So this one you can uh, go through the SPA website. Okay, these are the salary starting. Uh, and for reminder, this uh, the salary. The salary in government, this one is just the salary, not included the allowance. So government have uh, allowance, okay, two to three types of allowance. So roughly plus minus allowance, if they starting at 1,500, you will get roughly 200 to 2,500, including the allowance. Okay, this is only the basic, right? Okay, uh, next is uh, what to do. What is the task for uh, technical assistance? Okay. So roughly what we've done your in your student time. All right. All right. So now I go for uniform or open post in government. So this one example of police, you may join as uh, the police, right? This is the rank of police. If some of my junior and my friend become police officer uh, using uh, part one and part two, right? So but they are yeah, but sometimes their skill is still needed in the police, all right. So this is a uh, okay. Uh, the not say the lower rank. So from constable to sergeant major, this is for uh, mainly for part one. Now we call it part one uh, degree holder. Okay, this one for master holder in architecture. If other course, this is for diploma. This is for degree. 
Alright. So these are the level. Inspector 41. 41 minimum to have degree. By the, in architecture part 2. Alright. And then go up the rank. And okay, become this. Huh? Right. So yeah. You may come become you still want to become a policeman, you can be you can do so. Alright. So these are the ranks, 17 ranks, and two categories. Right. So my friend uh, uh, become an inspector, right? So this one, an army, Akatan Tentera Malaysia, army divided into three, okay? Uh, tentera Darat, Tentera Laut, and Tentera Udara. So these are the star and the rank. Yeah, because I also have a friend of mine, AR also, an army. She is, uh, she's now a Lieutenant Colonel, all right? Okay, uh, also architect graduate and AR also, professional architect, all right? So these are the requirements if you want to join an army, I mean not more than 27 years old, right? So you have to have a nice BMI, okay? Clear vision, all right? Okay. Academic is the last time when you okay? Uh, degree, uh, but now it's master. Okay, you have to go through. So these are the list of rank and the starting salary. So if you see this, eh, it's Jajah Sanjana Muda Kejuteraan and Undang-Undang. And we have Sanjana Muda Kepujian. So, architecture or engineering is higher than the others. Uh, not actually higher, we have doctor is higher. Right? So, this is higher. Why? Because this is based on our uh, time of study. We study six years in architecture. The rest roughly four to five years only. Okay. And again, right? Uh, for diploma, two thousand. All right, diploma engineering. Okay, now that one and uh, okay now others. What other can do? What we can do with uh, architecture? All right, so you may join others than architecture services under Act One One Seven. Become so now there is famous become building information modeling manager. So I hope you guys go for this because maybe next five years there's no more AutoCAD, all using BIM, all using Revit, right? Uh, different type of software, but the keyword is BIM, right? Specificators, okay? Specification writer, just give spec, okay? Project manager, okay? For contractors, uh, workplace uh, consultant, okay? Like ID, okay? Interior designer. Uh, but nowadays, interior designer have to register with Lembaga Architect Malaysia. All right, then you can become a interior designer. Otherwise, anybody can claim they are interior designer. All right, uh, sustainable sustainability consultant. If you really love on sustainable, you might go for uh, special courses and get certified like uh, GBI. All right, like uh, yeah, for example, like GBI become specialist, urban designer. Okay, you might further study, like, like for me myself, I just graduated uh, my master in uh, urban development and management. Uh, feng Shui consultant, uh, if you really love to have this Feng Shui, you might have to go for courses and get certified and become a specialist, all right? So all these things is actually specialist work, okay? Not all can do, all right? Next, you can become a model maker, right? Uh, now we have a laser printer, we have all these things, you can become model maker. It's not part of uh, the uh, architectural services, all right? Uh, you may become a contractor, safety and health officer. Okay. Me, myself, is actually a um, safety and health officer, uh, but I only use uh, my AR only. Right? Uh, you can become a QLASIC assessor, okay? Uh, or building environment related. Okay, this one you need to go for special courses. And Get certified, right? So, or you become can become a trainer, give train, give talk. Okay, uh, like for me myself, I have my own uh, consultancy firm on training. So I give training. Uh, can architect become pilot? Yes, one of my friend now become pilot. Uh, architect graduate part two, become pilot. All right. Uh, my friend become steward. All right. Uh, part one. Yeah. He have the looks, he have the style, he becomes he would. Politician, yeah. So we have the picture here, architect Raja Bahrain. Uh, 
previously ya yeah, apa nama uh, timbalan menteri kementerian perumahan KPKT right and we have a famous tantri tantri ya yeah, datuk sri sami velu he's an architect registered right and uh, accredited riba also sami velu is an architect okay and a politician Okay, also you may become an artist, painter, sculptor, because all this is art. So in architect, we have all this. We have art in our body. We have arts. We can become a fashion designer, furniture designer, or cartoonist. So all this uh, list is actually, all is from my friend's uh, related uh, experience. Okay. All right, so I'll just share with you some of the famous uh, Furniture design by architect. We have Barcelona chair by Louis Miss Vendro. Right. We have Frangeri, okay, rocking chairs chair. Uh, yeah, all this is designed by the architect, specialist in studio. We have Ram Cool House, okay, uh, Zaha Hadid, nice table there. Okay, and then yeah, another collection of. Uh, furniture done by architect. Okay, furniture by Frank Wright. So that time, that's why they call it master builder. All right. So he designed the chair special for that house, special for that client. All right. Okay, printable. So see, nice design. Okay, we have table. They call it peacock chair uh, with some uh, philosophy behind it. Okay. And me myself, actually, I also like to design a furniture and build. So I design and build myself within one month. I can complete uh, one chair. So this chair is actually based on concept of uh, kuih, traditional measure. This is kuih peneram. Okay. We had a lobang lobang. Huh? So this is kuih peneram. So I did it in 2017. In 2018, I did another type of furniture and um, promote it KLCC. So this is based on batik Melayu. And recently, I'm com I complete uh, another research. This is actually my research. Okay, how to do uh, research in uh, furniture? I call it bamboo table. So this is bamboo, treated bamboo. So all this bamboo, I take it myself. I cut it myself. I made it myself. Okay, uh, because I want to know the the material, how how it impact, how it affect. So also been as uh, in newspaper. Okay. All right, so you may use become a tanja maker. So what I'm wearing now is tanja. Okay, I'm also making a tanja. That's my hobby. I like to do it. And my friend asked for me to sell it. So just just sell it for hobby. So this type of tanja that I can do. All right. All right. So some market study. So what is salary for architect? This one average, not minimum or not maximum. It's just average. Architect two thousand five hundred. Part two. Part two. Project architect, 5,800. That manage the project, this one experience. Right? Interior designer, 3,000. Architecture assistant for part one. Architecture designer, uh, sorry. Architecture assistant, and, uh, architecture part one. Designer, part, part one with experience. Okay. Building supervisor, structural engineer. All right. So some of others uh, study. So uh, different, this one based on salary uh, website. So we go for architect. This one more experience, like ten years experience. Okay, architecture designer, drafter. Okay, you may look onto it. Kitchen designer, kitchen designer can also gain six thousand ringgit in measure. Okay, can we become a landscape? Yes, All right. Okay, photo. Okay, photo realistic. Okay. Six thousand. Okay. All right. Drafting supervisor. This one mainly uh, experience uh, five to ten years. All right, so next, uh, experience effect design architect salaries. Of course, the more experience, the more uh, salary you get. Right? But if you're already 40, not going to other places anymore. So, right. So, skill that effect design salaries. So, nowadays, okay, nowadays, this one based on uh, the website study. Revit now is the trend. So if you have Revit, you might get extra salaries from others. So please, please go for Revit courses. 
and uh, practice, practice, not just go, you need practice. All right. So nowadays, Autodesk, negative uh, 1%, SketchUp, everybody can do SketchUp. Of course, Microsoft Word, no more. All right. Okay. Uh, another average salary in Malaysia, this one based on states, Putrajaya, the highest, 3,800, the lowest is in Perak, 2,700, middle range in Selangor, Sabah, Sarawak is about roughly 3 to 3,400, right? These are average, not minimum, average. All right, so project architect, 5,000, solution architect, marine engineer, is senior architect. All right, so I will share salary comparison years by experience. So the more experience, the more you gain. So like 20 years is going uh, lower back. All right. uh, education, okay, comparison by education, high school. Okay, if you have certificate or diploma, you get higher 17%, until PhD higher 23%. So uh, the most, is master degree all right so these are the best to have the master degree 29 percent increase all right so what is the future of architecture okay let me see what is the future is it work from home as per today most of architect firm during the mco work from home can it be done yes uh, but some of the inspection need to be done on site okay. submission can be done online Okay, submission to local authority slowly slowly right all right so what next work from home so all these five um, uh, schematic design detail design these are five phases in architecture so the future what is going to be what is going to happen for the private government and artists is it going to be gone no more job right actually no the private will still remain, the developer will still remain, the contractor will still remain, and also the rest. Okay, don't be afraid. So these are my study, some of the study in uh, the internet. Okay, uh, based on um, this website. Okay, who will design our build and model in 2025? Okay, so uh, based on this study, uh, the architect afraid to use the label of architect because people know architect only design a building, no more than that. All right. So some of the practices avoid to call themselves an architect. So they diverse. They become lighting design, product design, industrial design, interior design. Right. And because this label architect is creating a barrier between themselves and other profession. All right. So the word is to, to go beyond building a building. We're not just building a building. We, we are building a space. Kita buat tempat orang tinggal. Alright. And about the practice, medium size versus larger practice. Okay. Medium size office and large office. Alright. So ability to, uh, to adapt with the technology. Alright. So some of the small office uh, just maintained with the core group. We have uh, background in technology. Alright. So what happened in UK dropping 40% since 2008, okay, the services, okay, larger practice go to look overseas at work, so no more localized, you have to go global, all right. So next study, uh, I share this one under www.h2o.com, okay, okay, from this photo as you see, more people, bigger city, more construction, okay, I have this question in my mind, in my mind last 20 years ago. What happened to the architect? If the all builder building, example, the government building has been all been developed, all been constructed, is there any more project? Is there any more uh, work for architect? So the question, the answer is yes. Okay, if there is still new baby born, there will be a project because every person need a shelter. All right, so. Uh, by 2050, 70% of uh, population will live in urban. Okay, global population will grow. Okay, will increase 46%. All right, this is the type of firm firm that maintains stable practice, firm that grows opportunities, firm that under risk. Okay, safer type of practice, small local general that maintain international style architect like Zaha Hadid. Okay, yeah. all right, like Kenya. Okay, in Malaysia traditional regional architect okay? success type of practice 
B O O T, build, own, operate and transfer. So example, your firm or your practice, build, okay, design, build, you own the building, and operate and transfer to others, you sell to others. Okay. All right, go global into this spinnery. Okay, share the dispensary. Okay, specialist. Example of specialist. If you are the you are specialist in hospital design. Okay, not much of architect that have this specialty. All right, so become a specialist. It's good. How designer? Uh, renovate the house. So people always uh, renovate the house. Okay, the under measure type, the medium size. Okay, the small practices. This one for the firm. Eh? All right, future practice, consultative network. All right, uh, must uh, have network manners. Okay, must collaborate with others, consultant, not only architect. Uh, okay, collaborate with others, with engineers. Right, uh, packing approach tightly into spaces will not necessarily result in greater productivity. Is so by Philip Tit. All right, so now work from home is the new norm. So we can still work from home and get things done. So that is the next future. Create sister company. Okay. Example one company have uh, another uh, specialist on analysis, strategic thinking, work to find advantage. Okay. One stop center consultation. All right. So, example the client asks, You have an engineer? No, I don't have an engineer. I have to call another friend. So, it's best to have the one stop center. Have an engineer? Yes, God. Have KS? God. Have specialist ID? God. All right. Have friend in the local country, God, right? Okay, so I have to be one stop center. Okay, responding to the challenges and the interdisciplinary practice. So this one more on practice. Okay, uh, IT development, developing developing culture of practice within the firm. Okay, all right. So future of architecture as profession. Okay, what is next future? Rapid evolution of technologies. So now we have to follow technology. Otherwise, we become as Nokia. Nokia before is the great. Uh, producer of uh, mobile phone, but nowadays because of this technology, Nokia doesn't want to change. Other takes over. All right, so don't become a Nokia. Okay, become a what? Apple. <laughs> Example. Eh? So core principle of architecture basis which is focus on problem solving because we are now problem solver. Okay, technology technological advancement. So keep update with beams, apps, digital design. Okay, future. Shift to end user experience because now they the client are getting uh, better and cleverer. Sometimes the, the client now have their design and they ask us to design based on their design. So we must manage how to uh, to solve that thing, right? Speed to market efficiency is for documentation and construction now online. Okay, uh, future maintenance of the building. Make sure our design is less maintenance for future. All right. Uh, another study, okay. Uh, uh, creative in business, so I just go fast, all right? Okay, uh, most of the firm, okay, did not do research, okay, so need to do research in advance for us to give an idea to give to sell our idea to the client based on research, not based on hearsay, so it will be concrete, all right? Connect with others, okay, uh, don't work alone. Uh, dedicate dedicated success of others as to our own success Man, share the success aim with our own office all right so recently okay re re resilience so nowadays china have constructed 30 story building in 15 days okay? and recently during the mco during the covid 19 china have built a new hospital in only just 10 days what are we doing about it are we still going to do our style traditional way so we must adapt okay stop reinventing new door new design door new window and blast stairwell new nice we must build on knowledge of others all right <laughs> all right future architects so size does matter okay so roughly based on research base all right Okay, uh, next, based on COVID-19, what happened to the world? Okay, the hotel business is losing 40% of their workers, okay? roughly 1 million workers. What about architect, professional? Losing 5% only. 
okay means this is still good for us okay and how to do in this data so we target to see whatever is zero so what is zero utility water education health social so that is the future project for the architect okay so we see this data right okay um last lastly this is uh, based on registered architect in malaysia 2200 only okay compared to our population is 30 million okay based on developer nation average we need architect one to two thousand so what happened in malaysia we only have two thousand compared to 32 million so what is the ratio one to 14 so we need to reach one to two thousand all right so we lack of 13,000 architect registered in Malaysia. So who say architect Malaysia is too many? So it's still not much, right? So I'm waiting for you guys, graduate architect, to become a registered architect one day, all of you. All right, Singapore, we have 2,500. So the ratio is what? One to 2,000. So roughly Singapore is there. Okay, United Kingdom, 30, 37,000 registered architect means a professional architect. Okay, roughly one to 1,800. Uh, roughly there us okay us usa hundred five thousand okay hundred five thousand architect okay proportion 330 million malaysia only have 30 million so recently us have lost 30 million job okay all over us australia okay roughly there um, there is uh is ratio all right so what is the suggestion what is the future man so summary and suggestion what do we learn from today okay as i share with you there are so many career to choose okay become an architect is an excellent dream like for me all right keep up with the knowledge and research okay keep up with the knowledge it and research we need to uh, keep our knowledge further study go for courses Add our knowledge, okay. Main, then maintain our professionalism, okay. Measure still lack of registered architect, so we need all you guys to become registered architect. Keep update with information and technology, okay, and change the way our work, the way we work, okay. Do what we love, okay. Make sure we do what we love and love what we do, okay. Enhance our strength, so. I always say this to my students, enhance our strength. If our strength in, in IT, in 3D, so enhance that skill. So if our strength is in manual sketch, enhance that sketch, okay? enhance that strength. If our strength is good in uh, public speaking, enhance that and become a politician. All right, and make it a hobby. All right, okay, so lastly, okay. Success is the sum of small effort that repeated day in and day out. So whatever we do daily to make a success. Okay, so what is the future of architect mission? It depends on us and the young generation. Thank you and stay safe. All right. So yes, so I leave to I leave it back to. Uh, our MC today. Okay, uh, thank you for the sharing. I hope um, everyone enjoyed the talk and gains insights from the, for their future. Yeah. So we'll be having our uh, Q&A session now. So if you, yes. have, if you guys have any questions, you free, free to post it in the chat. So we'll bring it, bring it up for the speaker to attend. So just uh, wait for a bit for them to have any questions. Yeah. Oh, yeah, still having Hari Raya. <laughs> <laughs> you said you designed furnitures, right? Yes. Do you need workshops and so on? To, to yes, of course. Yeah, uh, I have my own tools. So, uh, but if some special tools, I need to go to some workshop and uh, I build there or, or I custom make, I ask somebody to make it for me. But not, not, I don't have all the tools like glass, I don't have the glass cutter. Okay? 
like simple simple tools i i do have in my house right mm, okay let's see Ooh. for like um uh, any question from you guys or you, or you may mute them or anyone anyone may raise up your hand and unmute and ask maybe direct question okay we have one question um yeah uh relating to uh drawing fees and freelancing job uh we okay yeah let me just read the questions from uh, Janelle. I, uh, I heard just now that we cannot ask for drawing fees in freelancing jobs. Why is that? Okay, uh, because under the Architect X, okay, only the architect can claim for fees, I mean the registered architect, unless that person is work under that architect. Example, the graduate part one, work under the architect AR. So, uh, he cannot charge the fee. He must charge the fee through the architect. Okay, that is based on the app. Uh -huh. I know uh, in the market, uh, many of us, some of us doing it. But okay, the effect is what? Okay, example, the effect is if uh, for on the design and uh, the, the non-professional architect claim for that, the public says that these are the architect attitude. Okay it falls under the lembaga architect measure. Example, before we have a case that a dentist just learn through YouTube and open a dentist and claim for fees. Actually, that lady is not certified doctor. He, she just learned from YouTube and do some dentist work and claim. So that effect, the majority of doctor in Malaysia, they say, why is this doctor doing like this? It fault, okay? Because that is a, a profession. It's a professional, so that will affect others. Okay. What happens if somebody do that without uh, register with Lembaga Architect? They might be found guilty and be have penalty 50,000. Okay, same as professional architect. So I, I advise so who want to do any part-time job, you should refer to any architect. So claim through that architect. So because the architect will advise the client properly based on uh, the right the right proposal okay because mm, okay. Uh, yeah any question uh, why i want to share some, yeah, some you, issues yeah sure sure continue okay so <laughs> i have some clients so uh, this client do his own bungalow own house without uh, i don't know he's using he showed me and he asked me to sign for his house and the house, uh, all the rooms, the window size is only 100 times, uh, three, uh, times 600. For one big room, only that window. One window. One window. So he have six rooms. And each room, the size is only 100 by 600. <laughs> And already built, already completed, and they <laughs> asked me to sign for it. Okay, uh, I'm quite pity to that guy because I don't know that one may be wrong advice from wrong person. Okay, so that's why I encourage all to consult with architect AR if you want. I know some some maybe your family, your parent ask you to design a bungalow, or your neighbor ask you to design a house for submission please refer to a professional architect so we can share the right knowledge okay and uh, claim through the architect all right okay um nice thanks uh okay next question is from enhui uh hi sir is there any suggestion for those just graduate from part one go for part two part two first or working okay uh, that one depends on part two requirement. Example, in UPM, the requirement for part two to have minimum working experience six months. Okay, if the uh, CGPA uh, is more than two point seven eight, okay, if the CGPA less than two point seven eight, um, have to work minimum one year in architecture firm. So 
uh, in I, I believe in any other university, minimum is six months. So after part one, need to work in architect firm in six months. Uh, I advise to work in architect firm or any technical firm. Okay, if work uh, grab food or food panda, that one not consider <laughs> under technical because uh, we need the experience. Okay, we need the experience. So for the future student, uh, able to use their experience for future learning. Okay. So, okay. Um, next question is from uh, Lord Jun Lee. How, how do you manage the time since you got many things to do? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Yes. Um, yeah. Uh, everybody have 24 hours. So actually, I, I love what I did. I love to create, I love to design, I love to do research. So what when we do what we love, we don't feel the time is passed through actually. Uh, but the thing is we have to manage. Huh? We have to manage our time carefully. Example, during student time, okay, uh, uh, as normal student, I used to work until late night, until late morning, until four o'clock and then I sleep. Uh, the effect is the next day I cannot uh, present well. I plan to, to say A, B, C, D, E, but what happened? I said A, F, E, Z, D, and F, and so on and so forth. So it doesn't happen. So next, I changed my style of uh, doing work. Doing student, this one doing student. So I sleep earlier. I sleep by 12, okay, because before the next day I want to present. Uh, roughly my completion of work, roughly 80 to 90% only. So when I have enough rest, so the next day I just presented whatever I done, which is 80% and presented well. So I got higher marks rather than full of work, but wrongly presented. Okay. So it's about time management. Okay. Uh, so asking back to answering, answering back that question, uh, yeah, I manage my time well. So uh, I also have family, <laughs> I also have responsible. Uh, so sometimes I bring back my work back to house, back to home. So I cut the, the bamboo, I do research. Uh, sometimes uh, I have knocked my head actually before, uh, the, steel, the steel bar. I knocked my head during the oh. processing of uh, the furniture. Uh, so, but now it's already gone, that's why I close it up here. <laughs> so uh, the, most, the most important part is to love what we do. All right. Okay, okay. nice. Um, next question is from uh, Chi Ying Lao, what are the differences from of architect and architectural designer? Are both both of them doing different tasks? Okay, uh, architect and architectural designer, All right? Yeah. Yep. So normally in uh, architecture firm, after graduate part one or part two, okay. Normally, okay, I go for part one first. After after part one, you join architect firm. Normally, the firm will ask you to do uh, drafting work first then design work. Uh, even for part two, normally the, uh, the firm will ask you to do design work first because uh, the firm want to, uh, you to get used to the office actually. Get used to the staff, get used to the management. Okay, uh, That is uh, roughly, they call it design architect. Just do design. Okay. Then project architect. Okay, Project wise means project architect. Project architect means the, the one who manage the project uh, from design to submission to construction to completion of the building. So manage the project. They call it project architect. This one, the terms, uh, the term, this term is uh, depends on the firm, but this term is not false under the act. Uh, the terms under the act is only graduate architect, architect, and uh, assistant architect. So uh, project architect is to manage the project. So this one depends on you as a graduate architect. So, but normally for the first year, you will be doing a design. So, but please, if some of you like to work outside, because some of us like to work inside the aircon, sit on the computer, doing design, love to do design. And some of us don't like to do that. Love to go outside, dealing with the contractor, dealing with the site, okay? Please inform your intention to your supervisor or to your boss. Okay? 
boss, I like to uh, explore more on site experience. Uh, can can you give me an opportunity? So normally the boss will give you a, the opportunity, but you have to show your your interest first and your skill. Okay. So not only that. Okay. If you intend to go more experience on site, uh, you may go to some courses. Uh, maybe by CIDB. Okay. Normally CIDB give courses for uh, how to manage project on site. So when you have when we have extra knowledge, it will give us uh, extra miles for for us to go to the site. Okay. Uh, and my advice to read the contract. I know the contract is quite thick. <laughs> uh, I know architecture student mostly like to see books of colors, not see books of words. But sometimes we have to change that. <laughs> okay. Cool. Um, next question is from Kelvin Ng. How long would you suggest part one graduate students to work in practice before continuing part two? Okay, uh, as, as short as possible. Okay, short as possible. As short as possible because once we uh, own our own money, uh, so that will drag us to work there, there until our lifetime. Okay. <sighs> Because we think, wow, I'm the king already. I got 2,000. I'm rich already. I'm going to be richer. No one to study anymore. Okay. All right. So, minimum, uh, maximum one year. Lah. One, one year. Maximum one year. Oh. Maximum one year. And go straight away to study. Because the age is, uh, give a lot of difference in the salary afterwards. Example. Lah. Example. If you, uh, you're finishing your part one in the age of, what, 22? And then you work for five years, then you're already 25. Then you join part two, you're already 28. Then your classmate is all younger than you. All right. Uh, I know some, some become advantage, but the, this advantage is your career start late. Okay. Your mm. career part two start late. Like for me, I start my career uh, in the age of 26 yeah, because I straight away from part one, part two. Uh, I didn't work, so during that time, there's no requirement to work, so I just straight away, part one, part two, finish uh, at the age of 20, 26, I get my part B in the age, at the age of 30, and then my career start early. Okay. Oh, I see. So uh, you will but, be at disadvantage if you start late? Is it? Yes, yes. I because uh, okay. if you go for the salary, the salary uh, effect much on uh, this certification. So better straight away study. Mm. Okay, all right. right. Um, next question is from Jason. Yeah. Hi, how do you think for the current pandemic situation affect the students to work as an intern? Yes, so, so uh, this question is still uh, yet to be answered by KPT, Kementerian Kementerian Pengajian Tinggi. So uh, actually, we still waiting uh, oh, for the answer from the KPT because of this pandemic. Even university didn't allow the student to uh, to go back to university and uh, learn face to face. Yeah. We still have to work uh, online because of this pandemic. Uh, so maybe the university. Uh, extend that time, I don't know, maybe they extend to the next semester for intern. And mm -hmm. at the same time, the architecture office, the firm also, uh, they have a strict SOP uh, to allow uh, the workers to come in the architect office. They have to need to go to pass with SOP, uh, this uh, registration, okay? Uh, so uh -huh. it's, it's, not, it's not the best time to have an intern right now. We still wait for the KPT. Yeah. Okay. Next question is from Vinci. Um, how long do you think so architect my firm... suggestion during this time? Please. Yeah, okay. sure. I know. Uh, maybe some of you still students. Some of you just wait. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, next question is from Vinci. So, how long do you think architecture firm income will recover from the COVID nineteen pandemic? How long do you okay. think? Okay. All right. So take. if uh, like I have my own firm also, right? so roughly next only six months to recover. 
think uh, normally a firm have their own safe money uh, free for three to four months but now uh, the office can work back as normal so once they work back normal and they can claim to the client all right so they may come back uh, again and stand up in the next six months mm, i see okay um okay we got another question from ben hoy um as now is a difficult time to get a job as a assistant architect is the university going to lower down the standard for intake part two i got an offer as an intern student in design studio not registered under lamb with no allowance is it for me is it okay for me to accept it uh the question is about allowance in intern or to accept for part two uh, part two is it two question or one question um uh to accept the uh intern as, as a intern student oh. okay all right uh i believe uh the, the firm will allow the intern student to come okay uh maybe that were the, the most effect is the the allowance so maybe there's no allowance okay uh up to the to the firm so like for me my firm i still give allowance as as for for the student to survive uh daily only okay maybe maybe uh, okay. Allowance. so normally maybe 400 become 200 just for the student to have enough to live uh, not not too much it depends on firm but uh to get an intern place is a blessing already he also mentioned uh, she also mentioned that it's not registered under lamp uh the firm is not registered under lamp uh, the so, design studio is not okay. registered under lamp uh it's preferable to be registered under the lamp because okay uh the firm need to teach the student based on the architect acts and rules okay uh there this is a way there is a way um to how to handle it so you might go to uh, the design firm who the, who is signing the uh, the job okay but uh, it's not advisable it's advisable to work under the architect firm because uh the documentation they will follow the procedure as per professional architect uh okay so it won't be um accredited right something like that okay. uh the okay the internship actually under the lamb requirement lembaga architect requirement there is no requirement for internship okay to get part one part two okay so the requirement is only working experience uh to enter part two afterwards so during study example for part one uh because uh, uh in, in university there's a two requirement there's two requirement one is uh to follow the lembaga architect measure requirement which is part one and part two the next one is to follow the mqa requirement uh sorry the third one is to follow the university requirement some university requirement to get uh uh bachelor science okay to get bachelor science the requirement is to have minimum three and a half years okay that's why some university uh, actually the study is only takes three years but to comply that three and a half years so they include another six months for intent to follow university requirement to get the status of a uh, bachelor's of science otherwise they, they get only bachelor so there's some technical uh, things to be followed then oh, okay cool um all right the next question is from uh janelle um if i was offered a job as an engineer but the job description is the same as a typical draftsman is it possible to accept the job or is it out of uh, her field uh okay because uh can you can go to engineer because engineer also is a professional okay mm -hmm. example for part three also we allow uh, an engineer to sign a logbook for part three so because they also are professional registered 
and the professional body. So go ahead, go ahead, please go ahead with engineer because we will learn more than architect learn. So architect do only do architecture. So you learn more than architect. We do you do you will do an engineering task. Okay. So go ahead. Thanks. All right. Um, I think that's all the questions we have for for today. Okay. So thank you for your um, uh, sharing for today. Okay. Um. So we'll uh we'll have another online lecture. Sorry. Okay. I hope it's been benefit to all. <laughs> yeah. It's uh it's very interesting actually <laughs> for uh planning the future. Okay, so um, uh, hope you guys um, enjoyed the session. Okay. Thank you for joining us again. Um, the next session, the next lecture, online lecture is on Tuesday, uh, 2nd June, 8.30 p.m. by Professor Architect Mo Mior from UPM. He will be talking about designing with context. So do keep in touch with us, uh, our MASA's Instagram and Facebook page for uh, further de details. Uh, until then, have a nice uh, night, and we'll catch catch you next time. Bye bye. Thank you again, architect. Uh, okay, thank you, you all. Selamat Hari Raya Idul Fitri to all. All right. Good night, everyone. Bye bye. Uh, good night, everyone. Bye.